All right, so today I'm going to go and show you how to set up a virtual machine for scam baiting tech support scammers using VMware Workstation. So the first, so there's going to be two things that you're going to need. The first is VMware Workstation itself. This is VMware's official website. The link is in the description. You can download a free trial or you can buy a license key for $250. You're also going to need uh, a Windows ISO file. This tool can be used to download one. I personally use Windows 7 because I have a license key for it. Um, you can also download Windows 8 or Windows 10. And then if you wanted to, you can also download Microsoft Office to put on the to put on the virtual machines to further convince the tech support scammers. So you're just going to go ahead and go to, the link is in the description. Just go and download the Windows ISO downloader. Run the file. Alright, so then you're going to get this. Just select your operating system of choice. I'll just use Windows 7. Select the edition. I just use, I, I generally use Home Premium. Now just select your product language. I'd suggest you always choose English. I recommend you download the 64-bit version. The 32-bit version doesn't really work that well. Just save that. If you wanted to, you can also download Office from here. Just select Personally, I would select Home and Student. However, if you wanted to, you can select the professional versions, um, English, and, and then you would hit download, and that's it. And that's all you need. All right, so the Windows ISO file is about to finish download, and we're going to go ahead and set up the virtual machine while we're waiting. So we're going to go and after you've installed VMware Workstation, you're going to go and click Create a New Virtual Machine. Select Next. Just select Typical. Select I will install the operating system later. Hit next. Select Windows 7 64 bit. Next. Or whatever operating system you chose. S name the virtual machine whatever you chose. I'll just say I'll just say this as Windows 7 X64 video. Alright, now you want to specify the disk capacity. And one mistake that I made while making my virtual machines, I made the, the capacity at 30 gigabytes, which sounds a little too small for a real computer. So I'd set this at around three or 200 gigabytes. Um, assuming you don't actually out use that much disk space in the virtual machine itself, it will not become 200 gigabytes. It's j it just shows up as 200 gigabytes. But for this, I'm just going to select 30 gigabytes just to make it simpler. And I prefer storing the virtual disk as a single file. Now you're going to go and click Customize Hardware. It's almost done. Now, the memory, you want, you want to set it. It depends how much money memory you have. Um, I have 16 gigabytes of memory, so I, my minimum would be around 4 gigabytes I would allocate to this virtual machine. However, you have many computers nowadays have 8 gigabytes, then I would allocate around, I would allocate 3 or 4 gigabytes still. But for this, I'm just going to allocate 2 gigabytes, that'd be fine. The processor is you want at least 2 cores. Um, it looks like we're about finished. We're at the ISO is finished downloading, so I'm going to click CD DVD, use ISO image, click browse, and then you're going to go and find that ISO file. Go. Network adapter, you want to leave as NAT if you want to do a RAT for later, and then just leave the rest as is. Click close and click finish. Alright, so now you want to go and click power on this virtual machine. I'm just going to exit these out. Alright, now you're going to get the standard setup process as if you were in actually installing Windows 7 on a real computer. Alright, you're going to get the Windows installer, select your language, time and currency format and the keyboard keyboard method I just leave it as default and just click next then click install now now you're gonna go ahead and read action and accept license terms hit next select custom advanced select the unallocated space and click next and Windows will begin installing 
Alright, so now after a short while, your computer will reboot and you'll get to this screen. Um, you're gonna go ahead and type a username, whatever fake name you wanna use. I'll use my classic Ben Cho, if I can type. Okay. Uh, if you wanna set a password, you can type it here, I won't. Um, if you have a Windows product key, you can enter it here. I'm just gonna click skip for it now. I highly recommend you select use recommended settings. Um, select your time zone. I'll just use Eastern Time for this. Next, um, I suggest setting your computer a public network so it doesn't ask you and it and your and it can't discover computers on the network. And now I'm just gonna finalize your settings. All right. So after you, it logs you in, you're gonna go ahead. And the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and check for updates because there's gonna be a crap ton of updates to do. Go to Start Control Panel. Go to System and Security, uh, Windows Update, and click Check for Updates. Alright, so now after a while, it has come up with 187 updates. Go ahead and install all of them. I want to go ahead and just accept all the license terms. Um, the update process will take quite a long time. If you want to stop suspend the update process just go up here and click the pause button to suspend the virtual machine and then when you get back you can just click the play to resume the virtual machine all right so the virtual machine is finally finished updating and now we're going to go and install vmware tools so go to the top click vm install vmware tools and then you'll eventually get the autoplay just click run setup click yes alright so just go ahead and follow the set wizard alright so go ahead and click finish and it's going to ask to restart the computer just click yes alright so now the screen's gotten bigger as you can see the next thing we're going to do is install like the popular programs to make the scammers believe this is an actual computer. What I'd like to do is just open Internet Explorer and go to the address bar and go to 99.com or however you want to pronounce it. Alright, so I so personally I recommend n installing something like Chrome or Firefox. For this I'll just choose Chrome. Um, I suggest not. Uh, I suggest not installing any of the utilities. I suggest installing at least something like Skype. Um, I do iTunes, Spotify. I I just do all of these. I I suggest not installing any of these. Um, you may want to consider installing GIMP, but. I w I'm not going to. Um, I'd suggest installing an Office, so LibreOffice or OpenOffice or Microsoft Office. Um, if you want an antivirus, you can install one from here. Um, I'd suggest doing Steam and Google Earth. And you can just get click here and run the setup and it'll install everything for you. So the next thing we're going to do is make the virtual machine stealthy. So if they go into, for example, device manager, if they go into device manager, they they can't tell that it's a virtual machine by just looking there. And they also can't go into MS info and find out that it's a VMware. So to do this, you want to first shut down the virtual machine. Okay, so now you want to go and navigate to the directory of where the virtual machine is. In most cases, it'll be in in your documents folder. In, just go into your documents folder and find the directory virtual machines. Find the virtual machine that you created. In this case, we're there. Now find now find the 
the VMware configuration file. If you enable file extensions by in Windows 10, go to View and check this box. If you're in Windows 7, go into the folder and search options, click View, then scroll down and find scroll down and find hide extensions for known file types and uncheck it and click OK. It's the file ending in VMX. Find it, right click it, and then open it using a text editor. So I'm just going to open with Atom. Alright. So now you want to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and add, add the line that is in the description and on screen right now. Okay, so I've added a, added the SMBIOS Reflect host to the bottom of the file. Make sure you leave an empty line at the bottom and save it. Then X out make sure and relaunch VMware. Alright, if we go and power on the virtual machine. Now if we go and go to um, MS Info. As you can see now now it shows it shows the BIOS as Phoenix Technologies, the BIOS on my computer. Um yeah. However, there's still one more problem. If you go to Device Manager, um, it still shows that it's VMware. Now I'm going to show you how to fix that. So to do this, you want to go and open RegEdit, click, press Open the Start menu, type RegEdit, hit Enter, click Yes. You want to navigate down to H key Local Machine, System, Control Set, Control Set 001. Enum. Right click Enum, click permissions, and click add. Type your username in here. Click check names and click OK. Now, I already did this, but you want to go ahead and un make sure it says permissions for your username. Under allow, check full control. Then, click advanced, owner, make sure, and you want to change it to your change it to your username and check replace owner on sub containers and objects click apply just cl click OK it's fine now move to the permissions tab select your user and if it doesn't say full control here select edit make sure it says this key and sub keys and check full control now you want to make sure this replace all child object permission box is checked and click OK click yes and then click OK on the key and then click OK. Now you want to go and open Device Manager. I've already changed a few of mine, but the display I didn't change the display adapter. So what you're gonna do is you wanna go through and find the find the devices that say VMware. Right click them, click properties details change this and go down to device class GUID then copy this right click copy make sure enum is selected hit control F paste in the GUID and click find next then then it'll highlight the class GUID scroll uh, go down and as you can see here double click device description and change the entire thing to whatever you want to say so I'll just change this to NVIDIA SVGA 3D click OK and if you want to you can change the manufacturer and all the other details from here however usually this is enough now you need to go ahead and reload device manager and as you can see it's now been changed to NVIDIA um, you need to do this for all the devices. I've done some of them, like for example this. I still need to do this. All right, now as you can see, all all of the devices have changed to like generic names. Mice have changed. And there's nothing that reveals that it's a virtual machine. Now at this point, with all your modifications complete, I'd suggest you shut down the computer.
or the virtual machine rather go here clear, create a snapshot by clicking take a snapshot of this virtual machine enter a name and then click take snapshot and that will allow you to re uh, have like an instant reset button after a scammer gets on and after a scammer gets on just click this this yellow the one with the yellow arrow revert this virtual machine to its parent snapshot and it'll revert the virtual machine to a clean state where you can scam bait another scammer and that is how you create a stealthy virtual machine so thank you very much for watching feel free to leave a like comment and subscribe for more and i'll see you next time